In the world of naval warfare, two titans emerge from the depths of destruction. The relentless torpedo and the formidable anti-ship missile. These frightening weapons of destruction hold the power to shape the tides of battle upon vast oceans. But what sets them apart? How do they unleash their devastating force? Curious to unveil the insights of a seasoned veteran from the illustrious Hellenic Navy about these weapons. Join us on a thrilling journey as we delve into the heart of this age-old rivalry, peeling back the layers of mystery to unravel the secrets behind torpedoes and anti-ship missiles. In the vast depths of the ocean, there emerged a formidable weapon known as the torpedo. This sleek and self-propelled marvel was specifically designed for underwater warfare. With a swift launch from its platforms, the torpedo embarked on a silent journey, gliding through the currents with a determined grace to seek out its target and unleash its explosive power upon impact, bringing devastation to those who dared to challenge its might. On the other side of the story, a formidable force emerged, the anti-ship missile. Operated from diverse platforms situated on or near the Earth's surface. Whether launched from surface ships, submarines, aircraft, coastal defense systems, or land-based launchers, this weapon commanded attention. Guided by intricate systems and propelled by advanced technology, the missile possessed the remarkable capacity to modify its course and adjust its trajectory with unwavering precision. It remained under the watchful eye of its human operators, who relentlessly pursued its intended target. Like a graceful falcon, the missile swooped upon its prey, delivering a calculated strike that etched an indelible mark upon the waters below. While torpedoes and missiles are both weapons used in warfare, they have distinct histories and characteristics. Torpedoes have a longer history dating back to the 16th century while missiles emerged as a weapon during World War II. Torpedoes were initially developed as underwater weapons. In 1805, Robert Fulton invented the modern torpedo, which was a floating mine that could be detonated by a timer or upon contact with an enemy ship. Although Fulton's torpedo had limited success, it laid the foundation for further advancements. Torpedoes gained significant use in subsequent conflicts, including the American Civil War and World War I, where they were employed primarily by naval forces. On the other hand, missiles emerged as airborne projectiles during World War II. The Germans pioneered missile technology with the development of the V-1 missile, also known as the buzz bomb, or doodlebug. The V-1 was a pilotless plane used to bomb London. Although it lacked accuracy, it caused substantial damage and instilled fear due to its indiscriminate nature. What are they used for? Torpedoes and missiles remain integral components of modern warfare, serving different purposes and deployed through various platforms. Submarines primarily use torpedoes to sink enemy ships, while missiles find applications in ground-based launchers and aircraft to engage ground and aerial targets. Specifically, anti-ship missiles are guided projectiles designed for naval targets often employing a sea-skimming approach. Advancements in technology have greatly enhanced the accuracy and destructive capabilities of both torpedoes and missiles compared to their earlier counterparts. When it comes to propulsion systems, both missiles and torpedoes employ distinct mechanisms. Missiles rely on the combined force of engines and rockets for their movement. Rockets supply the initial burst of thrust, 
propelling the missile into the air while the engine takes over to sustain its flight. This dynamic combination of engines and rockets empowers missiles to attain remarkable velocities, propelling them to extraordinary speeds that can reach up to an astonishing 2,595 miles per hour. However, it is important to note that conflicting information about missile speeds can be found across various sources, which adds an element of uncertainty to their exact capabilities. While torpedoes propelled by electric motors gracefully traverse the depths of the water, they possess a different level of swiftness compared to missiles. These underwater projectiles display impressive agility, cruising through the waves at speeds of approximately 58 miles per hour. However, it's worth noting that conflicting information arises from other sources, stating that initially, torpedoes achieved a velocity of 23 miles per hour using a 1.0 millimeter diameter wire. Recognizing the potential for enhancement, Subsequent adjustments increased the wire's diameter to 1.8 millimeters, resulting in a boosted speed of 31 miles per hour. To further optimize maneuverability, the torpedo was equipped with elevators regulated by a depth-keeping mechanism, while the fore and aft rudders were controlled by the differential between the drums. These modifications aim to enhance the torpedo's performance, allowing it to navigate the depths with heightened speed and precision, despite variations in reported speeds from different sources. One significant distinction between torpedoes and missiles lies in their guidance systems. Torpedoes can have both guided and unguided variants, depending on their specific design and purpose. Traditionally, torpedoes were often unguided and relied on their initial launch trajectory and momentum to reach their target, like traditional artillery shells. However, advancements in technology have introduced guided torpedoes that employ various guidance systems for improved accuracy and target tracking capabilities. These guidance systems can include acoustic homing, wire guidance, or even advanced sensors for target detection. Notably, advancements have introduced various types of guidance, including gyroscopic guidance, radio control, programmable pattern running, and modern umbilical wire guidance. Among these innovations, homing torpedoes utilize passive or active acoustic guidance, while wake homing torpedoes target ship wakes. On the other hand, missiles are equipped with sophisticated guidance systems designed to enhance their accuracy. The type of guidance system employed by a missile depends on its specific purpose. For instance, anti-ship missiles often utilize a combination of inertial guidance and active radar homing, while some employ infrared homing to track a ship's heat emissions. Anti-ship missiles can also be guided by radio command throughout their flight. Active homing, using an onboard radar system, allows the missile to maintain a direct line of sight with the target. So, which is more effective? Although many people tend to think torpedo is more effective, according to seasoned veteran from the illustrious Hellenic Navy, anti-ship missiles are more effective than torpedoes in modern warfare because they are faster, have a larger range, and can be launched by ships, submarines, airplanes, helicopters, land vehicles, and hidden in farms. They are also more effective against ships than torpedoes. However, torpedoes are harder to counter and are more effective against submarines that sneak near enemy ships or against submarines themselves. In the end, both weapons possess their own strengths and weaknesses. The effectiveness of them is determined by the specific mission requirements. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.